Abraham Nova versus William Incarnacion. Who do y'all think is going to win this fight? Before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. It helps out the video. It helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So to those who don't know, Nova and Incarnacion will be fighting this weekend, this Saturday on the 15th over at the Turning Stone Resort and Casino in the undercard of the Joe Smith Jr. versus Steve Jeffrard fight. Event will be shown live on ESPN, so tune into ESPN if you want to see this fight between Nova and Incarnacion. Before I talk about before I talk about who I think will win, to those who don't know, Abraham Nova is a 28-year-old fighter from Puerto Rico. Now I guess residing over in Al Albany, uh, New York, uh, with an undefeated record of 20 wins, zero losses, 14 wins, coming by way of knockout TKO, was last in the ring back in August of 2021 against Richard Pumpikpik where he won by unanimous decision and now here he is fighting William Incarnacion, a fighter from the Dominican Republic with a record of 19 wins, 1 loss, 15 wins coming by way of knockout or TKO. Uh, Abraham Nova was actually supposed to fight somebody else but uh, I don't know what happened to that fight. Now he's fighting William Incarnacion who was last in the ring back in December of 2020. So it's been more than a year since he last fought. Um, and that was against Donnie Garcia where he won by unanimous decision. Prior to that, he suffered his one and only loss uh, back in July 2019 against Giovanni Gutierrez. And it looks like all his fights have taken place over in the Dominican Republic. And this is his first time fighting outside the Dominican Republic, fighting stateside for the first time. So it's a big opportunity for him to showcase his skills and showcase what he can bring to the table and perform good. Can he pull it off against Abraham Nova? Based on what I've seen of Incarnacion, he's not bad. Seems like he you know, has decent boxing skills. But in the end, skills pay the bills. And the more skilled fighter, in my opinion, is Abraham Nova. Yes, uh, more technically sound, sharper with his punches, faster, stronger. And also has been in there and fought better opposition in comparison to um, William Incarnacion. I mean, I know Nova hasn't fought the biggest and na biggest names, but at least he's been in there against decent fighters who have decent records in comparison to Incarnacion, you know, who's been fighting guys who had 16 wins, 8 losses, 14 wins, 12 losses, 19 wins, 2 losses. Well, that's actually not bad. Um, but, you know, most of, her, most of his career consists of fights where he definitely was the favorite to win. But he's not bad, man. I can see why he only lost one fight, and that was against Giovanni Gutierrez. Um, and Gutierrez, you know, had lost what he lost in December 2020. Wow, interesting. Oh, and he lost to Mike Planilla, too. Wow, huh? Funny world we live in, right? Um, <laughs> but we'll see, we'll see how this one will play out. Like I said, it's a big opportunity for Incarnation. He might, he might go out there and, uh, you know, shock the world because it, it this could be his moment you just never know but on paper should be a win for abraham nova in my opinion uh i think most likely going the distance tk on knockout maybe in the later rounds but most likely the distance uh eight rounds to two seven rounds to three in favor of abraham nova let me know your thoughts in the comments thanks for listening thanks for watching and like always have a great day all right thanks